It's week eight of the NFL. And here's the big artist himself, Trayvon Diggs, who's been stepping up to challenges all season, now at eight interceptions. It's the Cowboys and the Bears, and it comes your way next. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a week eight matchup on tap here between the Chicago Bears and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon God alongside Charles Davis. Uh, CD, you look at the Cowboys in this matchup. Their offense is one that doesn't rely too heavily on just one guy. They like to spread things around as best they can. You're right about that as a diverse unit, and they like to run their offense by what they call game plan, meaning each and every week they study the opponent, they probe its weaknesses, and they move the ball around that way. They emphasize who's going to get it based on what they think they'll accomplish in that game. Other teams, they're a system team. They're going to run what they run no matter what. I like this style of offense. It suits them well. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season, taking hits and being forced to run for him behind a porous offensive line. But he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several off-season changes in Chicago should help get Fields some help in Year 2. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete from the 21 at 2nd and 10. Here's Fields. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he did not not play. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 36 yards on the pop with no return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll start with the option. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. Pass midfield, look out, Tony Pollard. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Cowboys. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> let's
less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Extra point by Mar, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerve field's hit and the ball is loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. there on the option in a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football and they're swinging pads at him and the brooms are out and they're trying to poke at the football for ball security. I have a feeling next week there'll be an extra session of that each and every day. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A first down carry by Elliott. That he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Mar on for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving into more of a tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. On second and nine, Fields on the throw. Let him too much that time. It's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Fields. The looting, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right, you get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Steps away. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the 
season. And the Cowboys have taken a two touchdown lead now. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point by Mar, up and good. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Onto the field now come the Bears. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they lost string together a nice drive themselves out. Here's Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And the Cowboys have recovered. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And oh, that would get a light up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So the fumble recovery had not set up an ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, okay. when they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this try with a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. Well, Coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch it in the end zone without turning it over. On first down, it's Fields. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, oh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Micah Parsons. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now. And this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know. Is a blind squirrel finding a nut, or is this something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. 
not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And here's Trenton Gill now. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Last week, good result. They were able to beat the Detroit Lions, and now they are on the good side of the scoreboard right now as well. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 37. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. On play action, Prescott. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed to. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. I know without even asking, without even looking in your direction that you are not a fan of that call. Oh, I wish you would look, Brandon, because I was actually thinking this would be the perfect time for a fake. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me at all. This deep in your own territory. Look, I'm oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Cowboys will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Play action now, Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off the play fake, Prescott. Flush to his right. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Play fake. Here's Prescott rolling to his right. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. At this point, this offense feels like they can just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Now when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the lead will stay put at 17. Mr. Davis, you're a football lifer, my friend. You've called games at the highest level. You know head coaches inside and out. Please explain that one to me. Uh, <laughs> speechless. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds 
Ends up falling incomplete. time here still left in the contest decent sized deficit but not one that they can't manage and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports back now in arlington the dallas offense here set to begin the drive and right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off in high spirits as they've got this one well in hand. Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Prescott on play action. Out to his left. And this is taken in at the 5. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Prescott on the move to his left. And this one too low. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense got crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. Looking to throw. Prescott rolling to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Maher able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they've had that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now we're going to get a stoppage. Remember the Cowboys shake it up. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Back to throw, Fields. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And some room to maneuver. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. To throw his fields. And he will go down. The Cowboys sack. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. 
After the sack on first down, Fields under pressure, and they got to him again. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. That is caught. It's Dante Pettis. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quickly, they get to the line. Now on third long, they'll look to throw. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Dante Pettis, 36 yards. And the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And they got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. And one last throw here for Fields. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So for the Cowboys, they level their mark at 4-4 four and four on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Bears, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.